The title of this blog is Tablature versus Standard Notation. Actually, maybe the title of the blog should be Tablature and Standard Notation because I think one of the uh, issues with Tablature is that a lot of people think that it's opposed to uh, standard notation when actually I think there's some advantages and disadvantages to knowing both. And I think tablature can be used as a good step to teach students how to read standard notation. Sometimes the disadvantages in standard uh, notation, people might think sometimes, well, you don't know standard notation, so you don't know music that everybody else reads, all of the other instruments. And that's probably true. If you know how to read standard notation as a guitar player, you can play the same music that is played by the other instruments. However, tablature can be a great stepping stone, and there are some other advantages to tablature as well. Uh, for one, it's easy. Uh, if you can count, you can read tablature. See, there's kind of a dual process that goes on in reading music, and when you read notes, you have to associate the, like the name of the note or where the note is written, and then you have to memorize where that note is played uh, as another process, and then play the note. Where in tablature, it tells you instantly where the note is played. Now that, again, that could have some advantages and some disadvantages. But if you read tablature and you put the stems on the tablature, or you circle the numbers to indicate half notes, and you circle the numbers to indicate whole notes, you can still learn how to read rhythms correctly, but you can kind of uh, omit that one process of having to memorize where the note is located. So you're working primarily in tablature with the physical part of where to play the note. And then later on, you can learn where those notes, uh, memorize where those notes are placed and find out that you've been playing them all along when you've been reading tablature. And the conversion to ta from tablature to standard notation is very, very easy. Another great thing about tablature is that you can probably play music that is more complex than it would be in standard notation. You can play that music earlier. You can play music that uh, maybe gets up the neck or uh, is maybe a little bit more rhythmically complex than it would be with uh, standard notation because you've learned how to read tablature first. Another advantage to playing uh, tablature or another reason to know how to read tablature is it's not going away. Tablature is here and it's all over the internet and it's in books and uh, it's very popular. And uh, in fact, guitar music was originally written uh, in tablature, some of the early guitar music, some of the early loop music was written in tablature. And another advantage uh, to tablature is if you're using an, an altered tuning, especially if you tune more than one of the string to an alter, one of the strings to an altered tuning, suppose you're playing an open D tuning, then it makes a lot of sense to read uh, tablature because the pitch of the notes there are in a different place than you memorized them when you were learning with standard, uh, standard tuning. So some advantages there. Of course, the advantage to reading standard notation is that you can read music for other instruments. Other mu instruments can read your music. Um, it just makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you're trying to learn some music theory, then you, standard notation makes all the sense in the world. And it's the language that uh, everybody around the world that reads music, they read standard notation. So there's some good advantages and reasons to learn standard notation. Now, if you use tablature as a way to introduce standard notation, it makes a lot of sense. For example, students could be learning the notes uh, on the first string, open, one, and three, written in tablature, on the second string, open, one, and three, and so on. And they play, th the trick there is to play the tablature in the same position that the notes are going to be. So they've already been playing open one and three, open one and three, open two, and so on. They've been playing those notes already, and then when you show them that, oh, what you were playing was an E, F, and a G, you've already been playing them. Physically, you know how to play them. So now to convert to the notes is really not a problem. I've taken many, many young students through this process, and they read standard notation very quickly. They adapt to that very quickly if they've done the tablature. Now some people would say maybe in the Consonus beginning book that maybe we stay on uh, tablature too long for them. They want to get into standard notation uh, sooner. Don't be afraid to skip from the tablature section over to the standard note reading section. So after your students have played just for a little bit on tablature, have them, maybe they've only played E, F, and G, B, C, and D, or open one, three, open one, three, 
and they've done that in tablature, then skip to the note reading section. There's nothing written in stone that says that you have to complete all of the tablature section before progressing over to the standard notation section. So again, I don't think that it's a matter of tablature versus standard notation, but tablature and standard notation coexisting. And I think it's important for your students to know how to play both.